Or hello. Amen. Amen. And, and you don't have to show no man your body that got see everything because he's your fiance. No, uh-uh. No. So, you know, we the, the enemy will come in many ways. So, because you love the person and they love you, they figure it's okay. It's not okay. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, we have to Amen. be careful. People get weak. There's many people has did that. It's not their attention. It happened to them. They say, Apostle, I messed up. That's what you did. You had sex before you got married. Yeah. That's what you need to repent. And y'all, you need to keep your distance. And I'm asking God to every time y'all want to do something before you get married, put you under conviction. Amen. Yeah. Strong yeah. conviction that you uh, that uh, he his, his, uh, his uh, ge uh, genetic uh, 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 part, his penis, won't get excited with you when you're around him. All right? Amen? Amen. Amen. And that God will keep y'all until you get married. And then another thing, don't 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 put that tongue in their mouth because then his tongue stop feeling good. They send the tongue on the end, then you start going somewhere else. Hello, y'all. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. Right there. Yeah, it's true. You, we 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 talking real talk. See, people be talking. Mm. You know, you get these Christians holding the dial. They want to talk about. Just talk real talk. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And you have to because I know, and you know, it, it, uh, I'm I'm real. I ain't phony. Amen. Yeah. I mean, Amen. I'm, I love the man. I said, and then I talked to him, and my whole body go. I said, oh no, uh uh, you ain't going there, body. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But you know, you you got the you got these women on there. Oh, I don't do that, Pastor. I'm holy. I am too. I ain't have no sense with it. But don't, don't sit there and tell me no lie. You ain't love this man. You get ready to get married and your body don't change. Now you telling a lie right there. Because you desire to be with that person. So you have to ask God to help you. So the best thing to do is to fast. Amen. I said, God, I need to fast. Because I, I remember this, this 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 pastor. Amen. She's a pastor now. And I told her, I said, you don't need to be around here. Because I said, my son, my spiritual son, he has a weakness and lust. And he's he's highly anointed. Amen. Look at look at David. He was highly anointed. Look what happened to David. Amen. Right. And uh, he's highly anointed. Amen. And he, and he fasts a lot because he, he knows that, you know, he, he's weak. And a lot of men are. Because, you know, they wake up with that, yeah. you know. A man wake up with you know right. like that you know that you know that right, amen. Right. And that they'll get they get before a woman does. And so the thing about it is, you know, your body changed. You want that man, and you say because you love him. You know what I'm saying? And then you say, oh yeah. no, let's get on the scripture because my body is in, is going in a way that it shouldn't go. Hello, y'all. Let me get on the scripture. <laughs> amen. amen. So let me just stop praying. What you mean? I said, uh, -uh let's stop right there. Mm -mm. Uh, uh. So when you feel that, you immediately stop praying and rebuke it. it. And so the Holy Ghost will let you know. Amen. It can, can it be stopped? Yes. Amen. It can be stopped. It can be stopped. Amen. Before time. You know, but, but they, so these women say, no, my body don't feel that way. It's, it's not going to feel the way to get me. I see you lying, wonder, wonder, uh, uh. <laughs> you lying, wonder, you know you telling a lie and the truth ain't in you. Amen. Because when you know this person, individual, is going to be your wife, all right, if a man or your husband, you have that does well, God's prepared you for them, and so that desire yeah, is okay. there. Isn't that right? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Let's be real, y'all. Come on, and that desire is there. So the thing is, if if you weak in the area, so what you need to do, you have to pray, ask God to pray and help you. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and he don't need to be on your house no twelve o'clock at midnight. So no, I think you need to go, honey. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but let's get in some Bible study. Now, we don't need to go in no more Bible study. That's my That's I'm a real person. That's why God loves me. Amen. I'm real. You know, you got the people don't. Uh, Jake said, You think I'm real? You should hear Jake said, uh, Crefo Dollar. Crefo Dollar was Dr. Crefo Dollar one day at, at uh, service on, on live TV. And he said this. That's why they walk in the north because they're real. And he said that. Uh, he said, I'm a uh, prophet. Uh, Crefo is Dr. Crefo is the prophet. Because I was there when he had leadership. And his uh, uh, spiritual father is Kenny Copeland, right? And, and Dr. Kenny Copeland ordained him. Uh, that was enjoyed to be a prophet, amen. And um, 
he was in service on TV. He says, I'm picking up a man out there married, and you having problem with your, having problem with sex with your wife. He said, man, I need to talk to you later on because you, you're not you're not touching the right area, so we need to talk. I said, no, he didn't go there, God. <laughs> And so what happened? Okay. So what happened is the man been praying, Amen, that he has not fulfilled his wife what he should because you know men can could get on a, on on a woman and this thing you know he don't hip scott and come and here she laying down there and he said well honey <laughs> you, you feel better yeah you come out, yeah right you better do something because I'm here laying up here you don't got chores in here I am you know nothing right, happened yeah. Amen. Yeah. So uh so he picked it up. I said, Oh my Lord, I say, what that tell you? God said that's important in the marriage. Yeah, yeah. It's important. If it didn't, what happened? You know, people that you know, I I don't understand. Uh, and, and and uh a lot of these I saw a lot of these these uh uh, uh ministers T V uh guys and they got big congregation because they talk about talk about the bed. In the marriage about that, and they know there was going on in their church, and they got big congregation, y'all. And they were not ashamed talking. Then when it's time for his wife to come up, they had the wife to talk with him at the same time. And do you yeah. not you know it heal a lot of people, single people and yeah. married people? And Amen. and he went on teaching this for like two months or three months. And this should be taught. And they don't want to talk about it. Yeah. They talk about Jesus. I said, Jesus is concerned about that. If God wasn't concerned about that, He wouldn't He wouldn't allow created for us to do that, didn't He? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, Amen. So you know, we need to talk about it. You know, because you know, I see a fine man. You know, you know, you know, women. We're gonna look at and see a fine man. You say fine man. You know, hello. And one man, who would that man is fine? You say Tina. You say the finest actress. <laughs> Morris, what is name? Chestnut, that chocolate chip. <laughs> that, uh, uh, Morris Chestnut. Y'all know Morris Ch Chestnut, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That man fine. Chocolate chip. Amen. Chocolate Morris. Yes. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, you can look, but don't sin with it. You know, guys, God to help you. Amen. You know, because and when a man asks, "Oh my Lord, my goodness, help me, Jesus," <laughs> I said, "Save me some more." Amen. Hallelujah. But at least I'm honest with God, and I tell Him. But you get the oh, oh no, I don't do that. I said, "You biggest freak there is." That, I'm gonna tell you an example. Now, let me tell you something, y'all. It's gonna you're gonna laugh at this. this. These are real things. Amen. Real true, mm -hmm. true things happen. Later on, 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 was on Facebook. She she come around and looking at somebody, and she was supposed to be so holy. So she had a hat on her head, no makeup, amen. With a suit, taking a picture like that, amen. On Facebook, amen. And I I saw right through her, and I and I told the man, I say, she ain't all that holy. What you mean? I say she's something else. She's a front. She got a religious spirit. She wants you to think she is because mm -hmm. she's searching for a man. Amen. Mm -hmm. And she's looking at you, but she don't want you to know she's looking at you because she wants you to think. She figures she could win you over if she be so holy. Amen. And all she had to do is be herself and let God do the rest. Amen. Yeah. Well, yeah. lo and behold, homegirl changed her look. <laughs> and and her hairdo was fancy as can be. I said, what happened to the holy than that woman? And I said, now look at there. She put on all that front with the word. Right now, now she got a hairdo. She got the hair going down her eye. Before, she didn't have no hair going down her eye. She had a hair on looking holy. And that's people doing that. You know, putting on front, doing that. I don't know why people don't have to be real. Then another thing I'm, I'm going to tell you I have, I have a problem with. And God got to help me with that. I don't have to pose on no picture and like I'm praying all the time. <laughs> I, I don't know about y'all, but I, 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 I'm not coming against prayer. I got a problem with somebody got a pose and, and, and with the hand pose that they're praying and they're a liar. And then I see right through, I said, ain't nothing but a freak if there else was one. Hello? Yeah. Amen. Freaky and, and freak, freak. That's all she is, a freak. And he's a freak too. Amen. <laughs> And I know because, see, I, uh, you'd be surprised I have ministered to a lot of people. I'm not going to mention their name. I minister to a lot of people that people look up to. 
But they look, they look at my blonde hair, and they say, "Oh, she and all that." Well, she is, she, she is anointing, but she just, she just have blonde hair. I've been wearing blonde for a long time. My own hair blonde, and wherever we, whatever, my own hair turned blonde when I get in the sun. I've been wearing blonde for a long, long time when I was twenty years old. Amen. And now I'm sixty. A amen. And and, and uh, if I like to look good, I always did. Amen. Amen. And not to try men, but to look good. If they look, they just look, yes. but they ain't getting nowhere with me. You understand? <laughs> but but the but the thing about it is I don't have to come on and look that way or put on a long tuxedo of clothes on. Amen. If if you see me look like I got none, I do have clothes on. I just have one of those strapless uh, 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 tank top. It's not sexy, but you know you know because I be hot when I'm preaching. All right. Amen. But I don't think that you got to uh, have all that on and and bow your head down. Like you're praying 24-7 and you, you're praying 24 lie. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. And then, because I minister a lot of, and then if I say, well, watch this. The Holy Ghost said, watch this. I said, you almost sold out? Yeah. But I ain't going to say, I messed up. I, I was with my girlfriend and, and I messed up and had sex, you know. I, and, we, and it couldn't, it was beautiful, but it couldn't do it no more. I said, that was beautiful. <laughs> it was wrong. But then it, when they look at you, they, they think you holy. So you putting on the front. You need to be delivered. He said, well, we stopped doing that. So I'm glad you stopped doing it. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, but, doing, but see, a lot of times why how people mess up when they have, I'm talking about negative, they have problems like that. Because they're trying to put on the front. They're trying to be something they're not. So they fight the spirits at the same time. Amen. But they're doing it the wrong way instead of letting the Holy Spirit do it for them. Amen. Amen. And so he's, he had a problem. I, I I know I was on the line. Prophet Peter, are you still there? Yes, ma'am. I'm talking about Prophet Peter. Are you still there? Peter? Prophet Peter? Oh, Pam is on the line. Yeah, I, yeah. I have uh, muted my, uh, so, so I will not uh, do anything. Are you enjoying this uh, 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 tonight? Okay, he enjoyed it. Amen. So God want people to be real. If you have a sexual problem, you need to pray about it. You need to fast. Amen. Amen. Hello. I know I did. I, I know I did. I know I did before I got saved. I love sex. Hello. And uh, God delivered me. Amen. Yeah. And He delivered me. But I'm honest. That's why God used me. That's why the Lord told me to Because see, I'm not a phony. See, you got so many yeah, phones. Right. And, 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 and how can you minister to somebody when you yourself got to be delivered? Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. And so you got a lot of people that puts on a front. Amen. I'm just going to be me. Amen. I'm going to wear my blonde hair until I leave here. I look at Jan Crow. She still wear her blonde, don't she? Amen. <laughs> and so I'm just going to be me. I'm not going to try to change for nobody. And, and at the same time, I'm going to live right. At the same time, Amen. Amen. So I don't. That's why God even put say people need to stop judging people by the outer appearance and look on the inside, Amen. Amen. Being holy is not wearing a, 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 a turtleneck all the way up your neck. That's right. Hello. Amen. Amen. I put a scarf around your neck to to to, to cover you to protect you. A scarf ain't gonna yeah. protect you, isn't that right, y'all? That's right. Yeah, so. What did you say, Prophet Peter? Yes, um, I want to say something, and it is that uh, uh, I am 45 years old, and I haven't had sex yet. So, uh, 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 but I have a wonderful uh, relationship with God. That's right. And uh, he, I hear his voice, and that's everything for me. Yeah, but see, you, you uh, uh, Prophet Amen. Peter, you are real. Everybody's not there. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Everybody's not there, so you uh, uh, you are rare. It's not many yeah. that like that. Amen. There's, there's, there are men and women that keep themselves, amen, and uh, desire to wait till they get married. Amen. Yeah. And so God help, and everybody's not there, so I'm, I'm talking with God wants me to talk. Everybody's yeah. not there. So you. But I have had uh, several times uh, uh, things that I could have it, but I resisted. Well, that's good. And some people yeah. are not strong. That's why God said to put it on it because some Christians are not strong. 
Amen. Yeah. And some yeah. people are strong. That's why Paul said, if you're going to do wrong, yeah. it's best to go ahead and get married and, and, uh, instead of burn. Amen. 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 Everybody's not there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just, just like uh, uh, I wasn't there. Amen. And the reason why no. I, would, I would like that because I was molested, you know. And so when you're molested, you have that, that spirit in you that you want to have, you know, you feel mm -hmm. dirty, you know, you feel that you was your fault. So, you know, you have to talk to everybody. Everybody's not there. Amen. There's some people can uh, uh, stay there. So that's why God don't want people to point finger at people. When a prostitute come in there, don't uh, a harlot come in there, a whore, whatever they do, don't point finger and say, well, you can do that because you have to understand you can't clean the fish. The fish got to be caught first and allow the Holy Spirit to clean it. Yeah. And, and so what happened in the church that run people out of church because they they think they're so clean that they got to clean Amen. the people. You can't do that. Amen. Because everybody's not there. You got to understand God loves everybody. He don't love the sin. But we have to open the That's door for it. every people that come in there. That's why people come in my church when I get the building. Amen. That I, I, the door is open to all. So I don't Amen. judge none of them. Amen. Amen. And some people are stronger and some people are not stronger. Amen. 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 So you know you have to deal with because I wasn't strong. And thank God that God put me around even a strong Christians. Amen. You know, Amen. when I got saved. And I still had sex when I got saved. Amen. Amen. I was weak. Amen. Amen. Some people are strong, but God still love me. Amen. And good Amen. thing that this woman of God was around me. She knows I was messing up. She was not like the other uh, other people that so-called Christian was so busy judging me, looking at my fault instead of praying for me. Amen. Amen. Don't understand why I was like that. Hello, y'all. Amen. 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 So we got to understand that. Wherever level you are, you got to come down to the people. You're not got to compromise with this sin, That's right. but you got to understand everybody is not there. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And so we have to reach out to them that they can. They can. That's the whole purpose. God wants them to be delivered. He knows what they're doing. That's how much He loves us. Thank God He loves Amen. us. Amen. I mean, when I first got saved, see, I can talk about it because I'm free. A lot of people Amen. ain't free. When I first got saved, you know, I I, I met this uh, uh, pastor. I'm not pastor. He became a pastor, and you know, I, I still, you know, I I came in the Lord, but I wasn't fully delivered. Amen. So I really got really fully delivered in my second marriage. Amen. So I had no trust but to run to Jesus then. <laughs> Been physical abuse and crazy. I had a Dr. Jerker, Dr. Hyde. I went to church all the time and got delivered. Hello, y'all. Amen. Amen. But I got delivered. Amen. Thank God of that. Amen. And so when I first got saved. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, me and this man, he come me over my house in the morning. It was my friend. And I felt bad. And you be under conviction. You be under conviction doing it. At the same time, you be under conviction. But yet you like it. Hello. And, and so I had to get delivered. Amen. So I still did it. And I was under conviction. So I finally got delivered. And I thank God. So I could talk to people because I'm free. I could talk about it. And God can't keep you. I'm at the place like... like uh, uh, I'm, uh, 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 that God, I'm, I'm in celibacy because I've been divorced since, uh, 99, but, um, uh, even before then we didn't have no sex because the marriage was bad. Amen. And God kept me and he still kept me. So I'm not going to let nobody touch this body until I'm married. So that's 15 years, 16 years. Some people it's 21 years, 25 years. It depends. Amen. But I learned that Amen. from God. And through, through my weakness, God does keep me. Even when I get weak, God can keep you still. Amen. So, Amen. you know, we don't want to condemn nobody and say that we're better than them. Because we understand that some people say that. Uh, amen. And that's a problem with somebody I know. They they was they was celibacy and then they got involved with somebody with witchcraft and take over their body and now they can't get the they, they you know it that was telling them they can't get delivered. Amen. 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 But you know, some people strong, some people not strong. But you know, your your wife is gonna be blessed to have a virgin husband. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise amen. the Lord. But, but there ain't too many virgin yep. men out there. <laughs> Amen. That's why I said you rare. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It ain't too many virgin women out there, but then I'm not here to judge nobody. Right. Because God loves us all. He don't love sin, and they can't change. Amen. Because God used. If you read the Bible, there's some those characters in the Bible. Are something else, and we know David is David is, is a king in heaven, but he's not a king over Jesus. Amen. 
And he was a fornicator and a woman, womanizer, wasn't he? Look at Samson. He changed, didn't he? Samson went with the prostitute, didn't he? Look at Judas. Judas' uh, 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 daughter-in-law posed at a, as, a, as a prostitute to keep the culture going of the, of the family because a, a son, a, a, her husband died. Amen. There are so much in there. Look at Rahab. She was ex holly wasn't she? And, and guess who she is? The ancestors of Jesus, right? She's a Boaz, a, a mother. Hello? Amen. And God deliver us. So, you know, there's, God wants us to know that if sex is, is bad out of marriage. Amen. In marriage, it's not. Amen. But next week, we're going to talk about oral sex. So we didn't get a chance to talk about that today. We're gonna, that gonna talk going to take a long time. Amen. So I'm going to put it up there. So next week, we'll talk about oral sex. I know everybody's going to be on the line then. <laughs> they didn't want to get on live because they didn't want anybody to uncover their little secret. <laughs> so we understand the negative that uh, out, of, out of marriage, sex is forbidden out of marriage. Amen. You must be married to have sex. You know that now you're saved. And if, you, if you're if weak in that area, what you need to do is continue to fast. I didn't finish the story that is a, is this a true story about a couple, uh, this young lady that uh, she liked my spiritual son, and he had a problem sexual, and he fasts a lot to keep himself from doing the wrong thing, which is good, right? So she she had told somebody, said, I'm going to get him, and I'm going to throw it on him. That's the wrong thing to get in a marriage. And what are you saying, Apostle? A lot of women do that to get a man. That's the wrong way to start to get a man. Amen. And a lot of them get pregnant to have a, get a man. Have sex to get pregnant and get a man. That's the wrong thing to do. Because you're going to end up being miserable. You're not going to be happy at all. Amen. So this young lady, that's what she did with the, with, with the young guy. And they, now they divorce. They had problems because she married him the wrong reason. Amen. You don't you don't throw up, don't have sex with somebody to get somebody to, to love you. That's the wrong thing to do. Amen. And you know that's happening a lot, a, a lot, and God wants it to stop. Amen. Right now I'm gonna close out and ask you: Do anybody have any feedback? Want to say what my, what I was saying about this? This topic can go for a whole month, can it? <laughs> I got a lot of feedback. <laughs> Amen. I just like to be real. Amen. That's why God used me. That's why I walk in. Uh, for God be the glory, I walk in a great anointing as a seer. I can see right through because I'm honest with God. I'm a woman after God's heart. I'm not a phony. You got too many. And God used real people. Amen. Uh, uh, all right. Who who wants to say something right now? Oh, go ahead. Oh, who's me? Wilma. Who? Wilma. Wilma? Yes. Okay, Wilma. Okay, go ahead on. I'll give one to you for the excellent topic. I praise God for that. Amen. So gracious, uh, broke down and explained, which I can relate to that. That's kind of one of the issues dealing with my husband and the marriage. And mm -hmm. when you're dealing with soul ties and having multiple partners right. uh, before you get into marriage and then you find that the issue and when we separated I was asking the Lord, he think there's something wrong with you when you deal with adultery inside the marriage, but you find out with the current that goes from generation to generation and you don't understand what is going on until mm -hmm. the Lord actually show you uh, the problem that you, uh, you know, for in the marriage is what I'm saying. You know, right. The sexual and uh, for satisfying and different things like that. When the lust of the flesh and you go on and go from uh, person to person and you feel not uh, satisfying to you, just really uh, come to yourself and kind of figure it out that there's no fulfillment into that. And it's really an issue to say, like you were saying, you're dealing with a special, like you say, Christian, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. They don't want to admit that 
it's a problem because they feel that, oh, it's okay, and what and what is not. And you come to a place, uh, even in my own life, and, and of course in God, and you know, you be saying, Lord, I don't understand this. And when you marry and, and come together as one, that's where a lot of stuff manifests, and what God just uncovers uh, a person. And you know, I used to ask my husband, why 